Linux has not had the best reputation for gaming, but it doesn't mean that you can't game on it. In fact, there are several gaming-focused Linux distros that offer out-of-the-box support for gaming libraries and drivers for gaming-focused hardware, like graphics cards. Here are six of the best Linux distros for gaming, including the features that make each distro the best and its shortcomings. SteamOS SteamOS is one of the best Linux distros for gaming because it was one of the first Linux distros specifically developed to change the gaming on Linux's challenging narrative and make playing Windows native games on Linux a better experience for the end user. Gaming on SteamOS runs on Valve's gaming system, the Steam Machine, a proprietary gaming platform featuring a wide selection of multi-platform games that Linux users can play on basic hardware. SteamOS also uses a customised kernel to enhance the gaming experience. Key Features can run most Linux and Windows native games, an interesting console-like gaming experience, full-length indie films, primarily designed around the Linux gaming into your living room mindset and optimised for better graphical processing, compatibility with older gaming hardware and BIOS systems and dual boot support. Shortcomings. Limited built-in functions and no image viewer or file manager. The installation process is not simple at all and may pose issues for inexperienced Linux users. And finally, it's limited to games on the Steam Store. Pop OS The key feature that makes Pop OS one of the best Linux distros for gaming is its built-in compatibility with the latest modern gaming hardware. This Ubuntu-based open-source free Linux distro developed by System76 also features the GNOME desktop, built-in driver support for NVIDIA and AMD. Additionally, thanks to the out-of-the-box GPU support, Pop! OS is one of the easiest to install Linux distros. Key features. Constant updates. In-house development team continues to improve the code and make it open-source. Stable, lightweight and customizable. Getting started with essential Linux gaming tools like Steam, Game Hub, Wine and Lutris is easy and requires only a few clicks. Out-of-the-box support for NVIDIA and AMD Radeon graphics hardware. Easy to install based on your setup configuration. There's an ISO for NVIDIA and AMD. Snappy fluid navigation and workflows optimised for better performance. Offers long-term support or LTS. Shortcomings. Only offers 64-bit support, unfortunately, which can be restrictive to users with 32-bit processors. Solus Previously called Evolve OS, Solus comes pre-installed with tons of software and options meant to enhance your gaming experience. For example, it offers built-in Steam integration and desktop environment choices like Budgie, Gnome, KDE Plasma, Mate and many others. Key Features Increased game performance and stability thanks to the pre-installed library support. Budgie Desktop is a clean, fast and lightweight desktop environment, optimised for faster performance. Several pre-installed games as well as support for Steam, Lutris and Wine. Easy installation process. Fast software centre with third-party support. Consistent rolling release updates. Robust community support. Tons of built-in software options. Shortcomings. Only supports 64-bit architecture. Software Center is redundantly challenging to navigate, which is a bit of a shame. Manjaro. Some of the key features that make Manjaro one of the best Linux distros for gaming are its lightweight nature, customizability, consistent support, and user friendliness. Key features. Friendly, simple installation process, one of the best. Auto hardware detection and driver installations. Uses the robust PAMAC graphical manager, making it relatively easy to install available driver updates, packages and kernels. Large software repository and experienced users access to the Arch user repository. Robust user community and therefore getting support is super easy. Shortcomings. As an Arch Linux based distro, navigating the system can be a challenge for inexperienced Linux users. Rolling release requires manual weekly updates, which can get incredibly tedious. And also, there are some stability issues. MX Linux MX Linux is a mid-weight Debian stable distro that uses the XFCE desktop environment as the default and supports other environments also like KDE Plasma. Considered to be one of the cleanest, most powerful and most downloaded Linux distros, MX Linux has an intuitive and responsive user interface and comes out of the box optimised for enhanced performance and better control and customization. 
Key features. Built-in driver support for integrated AMD and Intel HD graphics. Lightweight, stable, responsive and featuring a clean desktop environment. Performance drive thanks to Debian and XFCE. Lightweight and stable. Intuitive package installer and tools. User-friendly but also flexible and customizable. Tons of pre-installed software tools like Firefox, Thunderbird, LibreOffice and tons of others. Shortcomings. Only has one desktop environment. Can be slow or buggy on some systems. Some users consider it to be a little bloated. Drauga OS. This Linux gaming distro focuses on creating a high performance gaming environment without sacrificing security. Additionally, low latency and the 100 Hz scheduling frequency enhance gameplay performances, yielding better frame rates and lower screen tears. Key features. One of the most stable and secure Linux distros to install, boding well for gaming. Built-in support for custom gaming kernels and wireless controllers. Easy Steam installation process with various apps and tools like Wine, Steam and Lutris installed right out of the box. Intuitive and familiar XFC desktop environment. Easy installation process. Shortcomings. Upgrading requires a new install. Installing NVIDIA drivers can be very challenging. Okay, this list has highlighted some of the best Linux distros for gaming. They are not the only ones though, as most Linux distros will support gameplay when configured properly. If you can't make up your mind, why not try out our list of Linux distros you can try first without installing them. Okay, as always, thank you so much for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.